Okay guys, another unboxing. What a crazy day. <laughs> I got back from Dayton, all the boxes, the stuff that I bought and I brought back from there. And it's Christmas Day in May, but maybe payment day in June. <laughs> but that's okay. I will live with it. And uh, this is pretty fun, pretty amazing day. Unboxing toys. So hope to do more in the future. And you probably enjoyed that as well. This is, hold on, I'll flip it over for the top camera. This is the MFJ, okay? 4230 MVP. Okay, what's particular with that power supply? Okay, it is a power supply that I bought for my QRP. I wanted something small. And when I looked at the power supply, there was a lot of them at the Dayton Invention. And at the MFJ boot, there were a lot of them over there. A lot of them to choose to. And I was looking for a small one to put in a case. And I look at this one. It has power Anderson power pole in the back, two sets. And it is small, and it is small like a QRP power supply, but it just it, it has a meter and it gives you 30 amps. So if I buy an amplifier, this power supply can run it. So because of its size, because of its price, okay, I think it was $100, $99. I believe this is probably one of the best power supply you can buy for your QRP if you travel like me, like in camping. So I have AC, I just want something compact to bring out. And when the kids are at the pool, I can do QSO and having fun. The next thing I will need to do is get a portable antenna, a loop or something. But I got this power supply as long with this mobile tuner okay i won't do the unboxing since i have a demo one and this power supply will go with my qrp that i bought the fdm duo from elab so let's open that up 30 amp power supply specially made for ham radio that's important okay low cost compact everything you need so this is the pad that adds on top this is the manual. Okay, so it works on 120 or 200 to 240 volts for European standard, I guess. Continuous 25 amps and peak 30 amp. That's good, very good. Ripple and noise filter. Yeah, less than 100 microvolt. I don't know if that's telling you guys. So it's six inch by five inch by 2.5 so this is small if you compare that to my 35 amp traditional astron power supply big difference in size so this is it's heavy okay but it's small look at the size look uh, let's compare it to my helad here okay look at the helad look at the power supply look at the thing it's a perfect match. Look at that. So if you have a Leland, small QRP, hold on, I gotta try to get it. It's almost a perfect match in size. That's pretty neat. So this is the Heland radio. And let's compare it. You know, I opened the uh, VHF UHF uh, power SWR meter. It is actually bigger than this power supply. Okay? This, I wanted a big meter. This, I wanted a small power supply so this is pretty small let's open up this will be perfect for my portable operation it can fight and everywhere even in the shack okay so you got a small band and a plug it is voltage adjustable so if you need to test something at different voltage you can use it but Okay, and you have the amp and volt switch. Okay, hold on, I'm going to, I need to look at my monitor to make sure. There we go. The cable. No, I'm going to get rid of the box here. Hold on a second. Be back in a moment. I always keep 
my boxes for transport, whatever I need in the future. I will leave the manual in there because there's everything on their website, so I don't need to keep the manual with me. Leave it there for the future. Okay, so this is the power supply. This is the front, okay? So you have, you can adjust the voltage on it, but if you put in the center, there's a, a mark, so you know it's, you feel it right away. Toop. Then you have 13.8 volt, so you don't have to worry, okay, about this. Then, but you can still adjust the power supply, okay, for whatever you need, okay, from what you want, what depending what you want to power with it. Then you have the banana plug in the front, okay. You have a switch to turn it on, turn it off. Very good. You can switch also the voltage. If you're in European, you will switch it on the other side, but you need to tip off those pins. This is North American version, and you have two power pole connector in the back. So that's what I needed. There is a model without power poles, uh, $20 less, but you know, everything I run is on power poles, very easy. So uh, this is will be for perfect for portable operation. And you have the meter, volts, and apps. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Stay tuned. I have another thing to unbox, and I'm done for today. <laughs> 73.